a great day for Ithaca College Athletics and our football program. We've enjoyed continuity, tremendous continuity, with great leaders, with just three head coaches since 1958, Coach Lyon, Coach Butterfield, and Coach Welch. With this in mind, after Mike Welch announced his plans during preseason to retire at the end of the academic year, we embarked on the important process of identifying the next head coach for Ithaca College football. I convened a search committee of former Bombers representing every era from the 1970s to the mid-2000s, along with a Hall of Fame coach and distinguished faculty member from the Park School. Mark Hudak, class of 90, president of the Alumni Association, Hall of Fame member, captain of the 1988 national championship team chaired the committee. I'd like to acknowledge everybody associated with the search. Uh, all those details are listed in the handout. Everybody who was part of the search committee and all the campus partners and uh, staff members from the athletic department who met with our, our finalists. We really appreciate all of their work and our administrative team who, who helped make everything go so smoothly. We were very thorough in analyzing the needs of the program and spent a lot of time identifying the qualities we sought in the next leader of Bomber football. We decided that we needed someone, a person of high character who will reflect Ithaca College's values as an academic institution, a charismatic leader with high energy, who can motivate players and coaches to prepare and perform at a high level. Excellent knowledge of the sport, of football in all aspects, knowledge and passion for recruiting, organizational skills, a detail-oriented person with a, high, or a very high work ethic. We want a teacher who is innovative and analytical and will find new approaches to succeeding at a high level. We found this, these qualities, and more in the person of Dan Swanstrom. I am thrilled to announce the appointment of Dan Swanstrom as the next head football coach for Ithaca College. At every stage of his career, Dan has elevated the success of the programs of which he is a part to championship level performances. He is committed to the scholar-athlete ideal and has proven that excellence in academics and athletics are compatible endeavors, as demonstrated at two world-class universities, Johns Hopkins and the University of Pennsylvania. Dan Swanstrom emerged as the right person at this time to lead Ithaca College football. Dan is a winner. He has a proven track record of success as both an athlete from his early days playing high school football in Texas at Rhodes College as a Gagliardi Trophy finalist, and more, most importantly, as a coach at the University of Redlands, Johns Hopkins, and now the University of Pennsylvania. I want to thank uh, Coach Ray Priori for his, the head coach at the University of Pennsylvania, for his support of Dan in this transition and uh, his willingness to make Dan available so soon. Uh, Dan will be really with us uh, working on behalf of IC starting yesterday and uh, I just am very, very grateful for how Coach Priori has handled this whole thing. Finally, and most importantly <coughs> to all of our alumni, Dan Swanstrom will embrace and honor the tradition of excellence of Bomber football and lead the program to the level of competitive success that Ithaca aspires to on the field. At IC, we do things the right way. We do things the bomber way. And I know that Coach Swanstrom is going to bring his own style and approach to this, but he will embody the values that we hold dear as an institution, as an athletics department, and as a football program integrity, respect, sport, sportsmanship, and a high work ethic. 
So now it is my great pleasure to present uh, this number 10 jersey to Coach Swanstrom. And I've asked you to come on up here and join me at the podium. Coach, uh, I don't know what your playing number was, but you're our number 10 head coach, so you're number 10 now. What's your name? <laughs> Coach, I'll turn it over to you. That was a great introduction. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff. You know, everything starts. You know, the opportunity for me to be the head coach here is, is something I'm very, very excited about. But most importantly, I, I'm the one who gets to live it. Um, but ultimately, this was a lot of people coming together to make this happen. Um, so big thanks to Susan um, for the opportunity, the search committee, um, the chance to spend time with them and uh, get to get to know them and go through the process with them was was uh, a great experience. Um, my family, you know, through this whole process, uh, you know, taking them through this process and just not knowing where you're going to go and what you're going to do, um, and them embracing that is is, is all, was just awesome. That being said, too. Um, a lot of players um, through the years, the players, the, you know, you can't, you can't sleep on what those guys did. You know, they're a big part of the success that I've had, you know, through the years. And then I've just been just so fortunate to be around so many great coaches. Um, you know, Susan hit on uh, Ray and Coach Peori. And, um, just that type of mindset being around him was, was awesome. And then Coach Margraf um, at Johns Hopkins, you know, the winningest coach in the state of Maryland. And, um, who he is as a person, just learning from these people through the years. Um, I just can't thank the players, those coaches enough with everybody else. I truly believe everything I've done professionally, um, personally, has just led me to this moment right now. And that's what I'm standing. And, uh, and, and that's why I'm just so excited to be here, to be a part of a historic program, um, a winning tradition that I, I feel like you can build on. Um, and every, just looking at this process, it's got everything I was looking for. The academics, um, the winning tradition, the athletics, the, the campus, the community. I just, the further and, and the deeper I got in the process, just more and more boxes just got checked um, of why I'm standing here and why I'm so excited to be here. And ultimately, I just can't wait to get started and get this thing going.